Good evening everyone, welcome back to another video by Minecraft.Travel. Today, I am going to take you to a new facility for a new type of bus service that we are putting together. So as you may have seen recently, the KRTA has procured quite a few new minibuses and these will be used for our different services that we have here at the KRTA. So as we go through here, we are here at the Dash Corin Paratransit, excuse me, not paratransit, minibus facility. There are three services under development that currently uses our minibuses. So the first service is going to be the need a ride service. This is a on-demand transit service that serves many parts of our service area. And of course the obvious will be our paratransit service, which we are required to have because as you know, we do have fixed route services and ADA does require that any transit company that has fixed route services also have paratransit services. But both of them are rolled up into one as our minibus services. So let's go ahead and start the tour over here which is just the maintenance facility. So still under construction, but here is where all of our minibuses will be maintained. Here is where all of our storage for equipment will be as well as offices. Over here is the clean natural gas fueling facility. This is where bus operators will put fuel in their buses prior to beginning. And here are the actual mini buses themselves. So as you know, the security at the Dash Corwin bus maintenance facility is not laxed by any means. Everything is remotely controlled. This is to prevent any theft or vandalization of our property. This wall goes all the way around the entire facility and a secondary wall separates parking areas from where our buses are stored. The entire facility sits in between a state prison, ocean, and mountains. So it's in a very nestled, remote area. So now, as for, let's say, if a person was visiting the facility, first thing they would do is enter through this part of the building right here. This is the main entrance. When they're in the building, here is just offices. And these are just going to be offices for dispatchers, classroom for training new operators. There's a front desk. And the entire office is a very nice setting as well. So as you're probably starting to guess, this is a, this facility was built by the Seventh Heaven Transportation Group, which 
this is actually the first garage facility that they have built. It's modern, spacious, plenty of room. We're in the basement now. And of course, very efficient. And this is what you will see as you start to go upstairs. So let's say if you are an operator, you would come in through either direction up there or back here. And you would go upstairs. Here, there are two restrooms. Now, as you could see, you could see our beautiful fleet of mini buses downstairs. And uh, then as you go in here, this is going to be the bus operator's lobby for this particular garage. Now here is one thing. When the operator comes in, you typically have a older cumbersome process for how running boards will be distributed. But because this is a mini bus facility, that means buses can appear in different places. They don't necessarily have fixed routes. Operators are usually just assigned to a bus and a detail. Sometimes you'll may, depending on the ridership, have multiple buses assigned to a detail. A detail is usually just a corned off section of the city where any trips that occur in that area is going to operate from any part of that zone to the nearest major transit interchange. So look in here through our dispatch windows. You have a nice view of the mountains. And back here will be the dispatch office. Here will be the general superintendent's office for this garage. So now once the operator gets their assignment, they will head back downstairs and they'll head out this exit right here, head across the parking lot, and then someone's texting me to their assigned bus. As you know, these buses are 25 foot buses. So just say that they're a little bit over half, less than half of our 40 foot buses. I um, unfortunately do not have the manufacturing info for these buses. I think they come from Europe, but I'll have to speak to, um, who's the person that's in charge of buses again? I may have to speak to Brody. He would, he should know. Brody, um, should know because I'm over the rail side. So occasionally I'll give tours of bus facilities, but yeah. Like I said, this isn't necessarily my home division, so I don't want to give you wrong information. So Brody would have better information about the buses than I would. But for now, thank you for attending this tour. And have a wonderful day.